Hello 3D printing peeps. I'm sitting here with my Creality Ender 3 version 2. You can see it very clearly because my lights are on. But what happens when the lights are off? Things get pretty dark. That's what happens. Those of you who own Ender 3 S1s know that you can buy an easy to install light kit that simply plugs into a pre-existing port on the top of the printer's body. But what about all you other Ender owners that are stuck left in the dark? Well, I've got good news for you. Thanks to the existence of the new Ender 3 version 2 Neo, you can now have LED light on your Ender 3 version 2. This kit is the LED light kit for the Ender 3 version 2 Neo. However, it is also compatible with the Ender 3 version 2. So if you have an Ender 3 version 2 or an Ender 3 version 2 Neo, you can follow along with this and get this light installed in your printer. We are using an Ender 3 version 2 for this installation. And we'll get that started right now. While this kit installs in similar fashion to the Ender 3 S1 light bar, the Ender 3 Pro, Max, version 2, etc. do not have the S1's pre-existing light port on the top of the printer's body. So we have to go ahead and manually install this directly into the printer's motherboard. And we're going to do that right now. To get things started, you're just going to open this up from the side and grab the piece of foam and slide it out. We have a small manual with official instructions for the Ender 3 version 2 Neo. Some screws, a piece of plastic, and the housing, cover, and actual LED light. We're now looking at the front of an Ender 3 version 2, and we are going to focus our attention to these guys right here. The first thing you want to do is pull this off, and you're going to reveal a screw hole right there. We will then turn the other side and pull that one off as well. You will now notice that the brackets fit conveniently into those holes. With the machine facing you, we'll take the bracket with the power button and stick it on the right and the bracket without the power button and stick it on the left. Once you're sure you're using the right bracket, you're going to open your little bag and it's going to have two screws that look like this. Like most Creality accessories, it's made to be used with the tools that came with the printer. So you're going to use the large Allen key or a T25 Torx bit. You can use a handheld T25 tool or you can use a T25 bit such as the one included in the official Creality toolkit. You can place this bit in your favorite manual tool. You could stick it in the tool included in the same Creality Toolkit. Or, if you're really brave, you could stick it in a small power tool, such as this little Lithium Ryobi. I recommend doing it manually by hand. We are going to install the right arm with the power button. Inside, you'll see these two metal connectors. On the end of the wiring harness, you will see two connectors with a rubber boot on the outside. We are going to take these connectors, point them down so they're out of the way of the mounting hole, and simply slide them onto the metal connector. We are going to do that by taking the metal boot and gently pulling it away from the connector so we can see it. We then slide it over the metal connector, push it down gently, and the boot will just kind of fall into place. We'll then take connector number two. Again, I pulled it out so I could see the connector, and again, slide it into place. Once it's in, you'll know it'll stay pretty good. There's a possibility that the rubber boot will be super loose. That's okay, as long as the connector itself is actually in place. Now to properly hide these wires. The long wire is going to, the long wire is going to go out the back. So we're gonna fold it back and then push it forward. And you'll see now how the cable goes out the back and into this slot. The short wire with the other connector goes to the light and we're gonna feed it into the slots to hide it. And then around and out the front 
where the LED light is going to be. Here's a close look. The wire is out the back, folded inside the slots here, forward inside the slots here, and around there comes out the front. Now, unlike the S1 printer, the Ender 3 version 2 had never been intended for this light to be mounted. So this hole is not threaded, which means we have to use a self-tapping screw that will force itself in and hold itself in place. To do that, we are going to take our time and work slowly. The final step before we can install this bracket is to take this wire and push it down the side here. You'll notice there's an indentation in this bracket. So you're gonna take this wire and just work it down into that little indentation. That will allow you to install this against the printer without pinching the wire against the frame. Now you simply take this piece, turn it over and slide it into place. You should see that it sits flush and the wire is safely exiting out the back without being crushed against the frame. Take your self-tapping screw, place it in the hole, take your T25, and now we are going to gently apply pressure and turn so that the screw bites into the soft aluminum, creating its own threads as it goes and holding the mount in place. Grab yourself the light and you'll notice the LED is loosely inside. On one side of the LED is the connector for that wire we just ran. The connector fits only one way. There's a little tab on the top. That tab is gonna go in the bottom of this light. Rather than twist the wire, turn the light itself and gently slide the piece into the tab. Put your two fingernails behind the little white tab and push. Then you can turn the light over and congratulations, you've managed to connect the wire without breaking anything. Take the white housing, if there's a piece of plastic on it, just peel it off. And now we're gonna grab this light and this white housing and simply slide it into place. Now I'm going to take the light, make sure it's orientated properly, which is upside down. I loosened this screw about one turn and I'm going to slide the light onto the bracket. I'll come to the other side and do the same thing on this side. And then take my tool and simply re-snug the self-tapping screws, bringing each arm together and holding it solid in place. And would you look at that, you have a shiny new LED light bar on your Ender 3 version 2. Yes, I know, let's not get too excited. We still have these random wires just hanging there. Unfortunately, to connect these, we are gonna to have to perform some minor surgery by opening up the chest of our beloved Ender 3 version 2 and connecting these wires to the main board. First things first, on my V2, we need to take this little guy right here and get her off. Take your Ender, hold it firmly on the extruder side and very carefully tip it over. You'll see, though, while it looks kind of scary, she's pretty stable in this position, and that's where we're going to keep her for now. Here is the underside of my machine. Should yours be different, please educate yourself on the proper way. And we're going to take these two little guys off right here. The printers. You can use any tool you want, as long as it's the right size. And off she comes. Be very careful. There is a fan attached to it. I'd like to draw your attention to the little green plug right there. You'll notice one is red, one is black. What a coincidence. So does the cable for our LED light. If you are uncomfortable with electrical work, please consult somebody who is more comfortable before proceeding. Your results are your problem. <laughs>
the death of yourself or your printer is at your own risk. There is an unfortunate number of screws holding this tiny little board in place. You're going to have to look very carefully to find them. You'll know when you've got them all because suddenly the board will become loose and it'll just start flopping around on its own. We have reached that point right now. You now have access to where we're going to plug in our light. So we are going to use this baby screwdriver and we are going to loosen both of these screws. They are going to raise up, creating a gap for us to plug in the wire. We will take black and share it with black. And we will take red and share it with red. You may have to wiggle these wires a little bit. You may have to even back out the originals. Don't worry, they'll go back in to work them both in together. If you really can't get it, make sure these screws are backed out far enough. Once you have both in, be very gentle that they stay put and tighten both these screws. When you tighten these screws, they will drive down into those connections, making a good contact and holding them in place. Now, as you might have guessed, we're gonna put this motherboard back and put those annoying screws back in place. And there you go, all four are in. They are so difficult, I did them off camera. If you unplugged anything for access, make sure you plug it all back in. I unplugged my case fan, which I just plugged back in. Now, before I put the cover back on, I'm just gonna take the light wire and route it behind this little panel right here and underneath this little tab. Now the cable's out of the way. Go ahead and put your panel back on the same way you took it off. Should you have trouble getting that top screw back on, just take your fingers, reach underneath, and squeeze the panel up, then put the screw in. You might remember earlier I said inside the case was a little piece of plastic. Go ahead and swing your printer around. You'll see this wire and this rail. Take the wire and feed it into this rail. Take the piece of plastic and jam it in there. You gotta push really good. And there you go. That ugly unsightly wire is now perfectly concealed inside the printer. Spin your printer around and we are done. So there it is, the Creality Ender 3 version 2 with the Creality Ender 3 version 2 Neo LED light bar. The only thing left to do is kill the lights and fire it up. Plug your printer in and turn it on. Then put your finger on the power switch of your light and switch it on. So there it is, beautiful LED light, courtesy of the Ender 3 version 2 Neo LED light kit, successfully installed on our Creality Ender 3 version 2. I will leave a link to this kit and any tools I use in the description I will, I will leave a link to this kit and any tools I used. I will leave a link to this kit and other useful tools. I will leave a link to this kit and other useful items in the description so that you can get one for yourself and light up your own Ender 3 version 2. I'm Greg Adventure. 
your instructor on 3drundown.com and lighting up this Creality Ender 3 version 2 3D printer was today's adventure.